Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This video is about pancreatic function tests. To diagnose pancreatic conditions, there are a number of ways like X-rays or imaging tests such as a CT scan or MRI may show whether the pancreas is calcified. Your doctor will take blood samples and check your stool for excess fat. A sign that the pancreas is no longer making enough enzymes to process fat. You may be given a pancreatic function test to see how well the pancreas releases digestive enzymes. You may also be checked for diabetes. To diagnose acute pancreatitis, your doctor tests your blood to measure two digestive enzymes, amylase and lipase. High levels of these two enzymes mean you probably have acute pancreatitis. Specifically, pancreas is evaluated through several tests. These include Secretin pancreatic function test. The secretin pancreatic function test measures the ability of the pancreas to respond to the hormone secretin. Fecal elastase test. The fecal elastase test measures elastase, an enzyme found in fluids produced by the pancreas. During this test, a patient's stool sample is analyzed for the presence of elastase. Computed tomography scan. This scan can help rule out other causes of abdominal pain and can also determine whether there is inflammation that is swelling, scarring or fluid collections in or around the pancreas. Abdominal ultrasound An abdominal ultrasound can detect gallstones and fluid from inflammation in the abdomen. It can also show an enlarged common bile duct or a pseudocyst. Other than these, they are an endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography an endoscopic ultrasound and a magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography this was all thanks for watching